tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. On second down, here's Rodgers. Over the middle, complete. It's Mullins. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception, good for seven. It's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And yeah, they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Third and inches, just turn around and hand it to the big guy and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they have a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. Start. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's going to let it go deep for Mitchell. This is intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding. Defense. Wait a second, they did that not accept that after the incompletion. What? I'm, I'm, your, your look is just as puzzled as mine. <laughs> I got nothing for you here. You have to take that penalty, don't you? It's a three yards. When the holding penalty sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Here's Coleman. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Tackled there by Rayshon Jenkins. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Detroit! Detroit! They will run again with Coleman. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to... Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. The Bears on third down. Two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. This is Coleman. He's got the first down and more past the 40. And he'll finally be taken down just shy of midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Watch him now, Barney! Coleman now. 
And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Forced out to his left. Shakes off the sack. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Illegal forward pass. Offense. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. All right, here we go. They'll set up a throw. And the third down pass falls incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. The Packers...
Jets offense now heading back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. It's a gain of five, and it'll be third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Mullins. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he's got some space here. And they will score a pick six for Bears touchdown. Making back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove. And what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year, let alone back-to-back -back weeks. Tell you this, I wouldn't play cards against this guy in the <laughs> locker room. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Eddie Jackson picks it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Will pretty much erase any hopes of the fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Now, parking for the extra.